Hey there, it's uh, Jeffrey Douglas. I'm out in the desert today, and I wanted to do a long-term review on my Genesis Jet Boil camp stove system. I've had a lot of different stoves over the years, but what I love about this is it just packs down. It's very compact, and everything nests together. So as I open it up here, and this comes with a case, first thing that's nested in the top is a, a frying pan. And next is the lid, and the lid nests up on top of the stove and the large pot. So tonight what we're going to do is make some spaghetti. Also note here that there's a little spigot here, so you can go ahead and strain the water out on this big pot. So below that is the actual stove, and the stove basically is, has little bungee cord type things, and that opens it up. And then last, which is really nice, is this very large pot. And what I love about this is it's not only good for boiling pasta or making soups and stuff, it's got the typical jet boil um, here to where it goes very fast on a boil and everything. But I also use this for uh, washing dishes. So you can see from the condition of the stove, it's got a lot of use. I've had it for probably close to four or five years. Probably need to do a job on cleaning it up at, uh, at some point. But what you do is you just attach your uh, standard propane bottle, or if you've got a bigger bottle, you have the adapter. And this goes in the side. And that's all you need to do. Now, I've had a lot of these stoves before, and this is the only one that the, the uh, starter still works. Every other one, usually within a year, it's gone. Uh, but what I love really about this stove, the ability to take a very low to very high flame, and it's very constant. So if you're, you're cooking something that uh, wants low heat, it does a really good job at that. If you want something that you want to boil some water, you can take it all the way up. So as I mentioned, we're going to do a little spaghetti tonight. So I'm going to use the big pot, put it on uh, the burner, and uh, go ahead, put some water in it to boil. and cover it just to make it boil that much faster. And uh, that's all you need to do. On the other side of the stove, you can go ahead and do the, um, the meat and sauce and everything like that. Well, that about wraps it up for this review. I, I can really highly recommend this kit. Uh, you're not gonna be sorry if you invest in, in it. It's quality, it costs quite a bit. Packs down really well. It's never failed me, always works. Uh, the only thing I would say is the windscreen that comes with it, uh, which is plastic, is uh, a bit uh, a bit chintzy and hard to get underneath the feet. I don't use it a lot, but um, I guess it's better than not having anything. So this is not a sponsored video. I've uh, bought this with my own money. If you have any questions or anything you'd like to know, please put a comment uh, below and I'll try to answer it for you. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, I'd greatly appreciate a like or even better, I would appreciate a subscribe. I'm trying to build this channel this year. If you like overlanding videos, camping gear, uh, traveling photography and video, this is the place for you. Join me on some of my adventures. And if you see me out and about, stop and say hello. And uh, remember, get outside.